Hello, it's Penny Clegg here again, and this is my two cents. Today, I wanted to just touch briefly on a couple of certainties, death and taxes. Everybody's uncomfortable to talk about them. We see articles that say, get your ducks in a row, make sure that you've got your estate planning done, make sure you have a will. But a lot of people just stay away from that as much as they can, just trying to be in denial like they're not going to die. Um, everything that's ever lived on this planet has always died. There is no getting out with all your stuff. So put your ducks in a row. Know that you want to live the life that you want to live. And then when you're gone, pass your things on to your loved ones in a sensible way. So it reduces the tax burden. That brings me to taxes. It's tax season. Getting all of our ducks in a row to uh, submit all of our paperwork. You know. This, the figures are staggering. I, I looked into how many Americans routinely get large income tax refunds in the spring. You're aware that that is approximately 80% of us, and they are sizable income, sizable income tax refund checks. So a lot of people say, oh, well, I love getting that income tax check in the spring. That gives me a little bit of extra money. That gives me some fun money. I can do X, Y, and Z. Or I can set up a, an emergency fund or do a whole host of things. Because they're not looking at it and realizing that that money is not extra. That is your money that you've just lent to the federal government interest-free. So instead of that money coming to you, you're paying an appropriate amount of tax, but you getting all of your income that you are entitled to without having to file forms to fight to get it back, you're letting Uncle Sam borrow that money, which is very generous of you. But how many times could you just, if you had that extra little, you could have done this, that, the next thing, it would have impacted your life in a positive way if you actually had that positive cash flow on a weekly or monthly basis. So I wanted to put it out there that all of us who are thinking that it's a great thing to get an income tax re refund, we need to stop thinking that way. We need to start realizing that it's our money. And if we had it, we could do things like invest it and maybe make some more money. How many of us worry about how much we're going to owe in income tax? And let that be the reason that no, I'm just going to overpay so I get that chunk back. Now, it is far better to save a little buffer, put a little bit aside in case you do owe some taxes when you file your, your return, but don't lend it interest-free. Save that money. Let it be yours. You invest it. You make it grow. Imagine all the things that you could do with that extra couple thousand dollars if you had it during the year instead of waiting until April. So I'm going to talk more about opportunities, what you can do with your income tax, things that will positively impact your life if, you're, if you are getting a refund. But I want everyone to really be mindful that the idea is to not get a refund. The game should be, how can I get as close as possible to my tax actual tax burden without owing Uncle Sam any, without him owing me any back. That's the goal. So just like with the uh, estate planning, talk to a professional, get some advice. It will be well worth it. And I think you will find that that windfall in April is not really a windfall, but maybe we can put it to good use with an investment that will actually pay dividends and then restructure things and move forward in a way that we are building to help ourselves and our future. All right, that is my two cents for today. Hope you enjoyed it. Any questions, just reach out. I am always looking for uh, learning new things. So anybody has a topic that they want me to delve into, let me know, and I will talk to you again soon. Thanks.